Back to the old truck cab we're gonna use on the 68. Here's what I've got done is, well, as I said I would, I took and cleaned out all the loose, rusty places uh, with a cheap needle scaler. The old Harbor Freight or whatever needle scaler here. And uh, what you don't want to use uh, if you're going to use, if you're going to use that for rust removal, what you don't want to use is uh, a really big uh, a five hundred dollar Ingersoll professional needle scaler, you know, for welders. That's what you don't want to use. And the reason for that is you'll just annihilate this thing. It's like it's it's just too it hits too hard. I got a couple more of those little needle scalers. I don't know where they're at. Nonetheless, uh, you can see about what I took out here. You know, you just start, you take the loose rust out. You start cutting. It might take you several cuts. It may take you several cuts to get you know, down to good, decent metal that you can glue or preferably not weld to, but you could weld or glue, screw, rivet, whatever it takes. Um, that's obviously, this is the pasture side. Well, here, I'll show you most of the pieces I cut out, the real small pieces, I just completely just, I, I'm gonna throw all this away, but this is just, so you all can see, you know, here's this piece. Maybe that was for the other side. I don't know, but you can see how bad it is. The longer you mess with it, the worse it gets. And rockers, I thought I was going to reuse maybe the outer rockers, but just too rough. And I know this looks bad, but it's not bad. Uh, the, bit, the surprises were... Uh, the bottom, I didn't really get anything to fix the bottom of these uh, uh, pillar posts with. And they were quite, you can see this one, they were quite rusted off here. Uh, it's the piece that has the, long story short, I, had, I bought something else to fix those with. They're really crappy. I bought these uh, parts here off of Amazon. I should have bought a you know, if you're just cutting stuff up like I'm gonna do these floor pans to make patches with, it's fine to get this crap, no name, no brand name crap off Amazon for half price. But if you're gonna do something that matters, like this top, this uh, sun visor plate, you need to get some kind of brand name like this, like a AMD or a which is Auto Metal Direct, something from, something from Key Parts, uh, a Tri Plus. I, I know, you know, it's all, I know it's all Chinese or, or, or whatever, but they've got better molds, man, you know. But I can use this. I, I'll cut this off. It's, it's a horrible fit, but I'll, I'll trim it up and make it work. Biggest problem now, I, I took some matches on all this, of course, but I want my door to fit back on here after I get done. I don't want it squeezed. I don't want to have the hole too small or too big for the door. But I think between between this here, you know, I can I can tell right where that old rocker was. Uh, these are a, a go over rocker. So, but, I think the rocker, outer rocker deal is going to work out pretty good. That'll help me locate the door, or, you know, the door opening. And I wound up ordering two, another couple more pieces just because, and I ordered them from AMD also, because what you get when you, when you lose this part here, at the bottom of the post. 
you lose these four holes. Uh, and I know I can still line up the holes a little bit and get them close with these, uh, when I put these cab, cab supports here in, but you know, when I have these four holes, that way you can locate, kind of line everything up a little bit. And by the time I do that and check my measurements on my opening, uh, you know, the door should fit back, go back here on these hinges, on these hinge plates, open and shut, not hit. See this cab, this old cab's so bad, the door's already hitting because it's all, it's all fell down. I still got to cut this off here. I just kind of left it for a minute where we can see how bad that uh, lower A pillar is what I call it. Up here, obviously, I'm just going to patch using the old pe the pieces of floor pan on the bottom. We'll patch this, cut it out. I'll patch this after I get the brace and the... Uh, be like last. I'll patch those floor places last. I just thought it should be pretty pretty good shape. Now, what I'm gonna try to do today, since I don't have my fur the piece I really need, the floor pan extension, whatever it is. Uh, try to work on this sun visor plate was all rusted out man and i was a thinking i was thinking these uh supports would be the actual support uh, structure of the cab would be bad but man it's actually real good the the uh but this piece man it's good i sprayed some old generic rust oil or something on this just to clean up the rust but you know, that's another reason these trucks rusted so bad is this truck, for instance, anywhere like right here, I don't know if you can still see some of it, right here under these hinges, that never had any paint on it. It was just bare metal. And and this roof inside, I'm, I'll bet you it was just bare metal. So what's it going to do? It's got to rust. Can't do anything but rust. But all this is good. Once I got the uh, front part of this roof, inner roof uh, cut off, all this lip here is good, and that's so great that I don't have to put a make or put a roof skin on it, or front lip, I mean. Worst place right over here on the corner. This right here is gone a little bit off the outer pillar cover, but here's the thing. The inner structure of this thing is still good. It's one piece, man. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna put, I might, I'll either panel bond. I'm not gonna weld it, I swear. All that weld on there, even with weld through primer and stuff, it still makes it rust immediately. But I'm gonna, Either way, I'm going to put something in here to kind of fill up this hole where I cut the rust out. Plus, and it's kind of inspecting it in there, and it all looks good. Out here, probably just clean that up as good as I can to where it'll, the panel bond will adhere good to it. I'll panel bond it. It'll be on there when I die. And same thing over here, a little place right here. It'll be fine. I can, if I'm worried about, uh, I'm not going to worry about water laying in it. I, I just typically don't leave. I either put something in a shed. I'll put it somewhere where it's not sitting out in the rain. That's what ruined these. It's sitting out in the rain, of course, because it's an old truck. But I'll just put it in a shed, put it somewhere. I will not put a tarp over anything. That's, that's the worst thing you can do is put a tarp over something. And I got, you know, with the needle scaler, it showed up a couple little places like this right here. I can clean that up a little bit more and panel bond it. Uh, little place on the cow right here doesn't amount to anything. Uh, I won't even probably do anything with that. It's just not hurting anything. 
right in there is good. So a lot of places I thought would be worse, they're not. Uh, this this uh, bottom of this drip rail here is good on this door on the driver's door a little bit worse. But I I cleaned the rust off of there with the with the needle scaler and. I may clean it just a little bit more and I'll smear something on it. Same sealer panel bomb, but it's 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 still hooked together there. And I'm I'm pretty stoked about the whole thing. I'm gonna start fitting in this panel. Uh, today that's gonna be my goal, get this panel fitted. And we'll see how far that goes. Cut this out, I tried to lay the new panel in there, kind of mark it off or guess about where it would lap i'm i'm not gonna do a uh step lap or anything i'm just gonna i just cut out the bed about the size of the panel you can tell about where it went by the body lines and i'm gonna put it right in on top of there and i've got to fit it you got to fit anything you buy you got to fit it baby so that's where we're at right now. I'll get the panel laid, laid down in here. Uh, and I'll have to sure I'm about to trim it, baby. Get it as close as we can. It's hitting right here on the pillar. Uh, hitting on the other pillar, of course. It's, And obviously, I cut this lip off the old one. I drilled it out with, uh, drilled what spot wells were left, ground it off of the old lip. So there's none of it left. So it'll, it'll come right up on the windshield lip and the pinch weld and shouldn't mess my new windshield rubber seal up. Let me mark these right here. Start trimming. We're gonna start trimming. I'm gonna mark these in white or even my blind self can see it. I'm gonna we'll do a little bit of grinding, a little bit of trimming. Probably a little bit of complaining. I use this little M12 grinder, M12 angle grinder. I use it on like three and three and I use it on everything. So that being said, without boring you to tears, I'm gonna keep trimming right there. And I'm gonna get that thing down till that lip falls into place. See, we got some marks there to go off of, isn't that nice? That's a, that's a quality part really for, for a aftermarket patch panel or 
what have you. And I'll probably trim a little bit more off of that. We can see it's hitting right there. So I'll just bring it on down when I get it about, I'll get back when I, in a few minutes when I get it uh, about fitting about like I want it. We'll, we'll glue screw or something, we'll put it in. So there. a few more times of pulling those panel in and out. I got it fitting about like I want it. Got all my vice grips, my kids' vice grips, my dad's vice grips, everybody's vice grips is on there. That's what you'll need when you're doing this stuff. No, you need a bunch of vice grips. <laughs> but uh, I've got it fitting. The most important place to fit this, of course, is up on the windshield pinch weld um, because the seal has to fit windshield has to fit the second most important is you know you need to be able to have something you can live with down here on the ceiling so <clears throat> up here on top I'm, I'm going to pull this panel off and both both mating surfaces where I'm going to have the panel bond, I'll buff them down to bare metal. Um, here, you know, on this side and this, the inside of both of this pinch weld areas. Because even though that 3M panel bond will will stick to a lot of paints, you do get the best bond on bare metal. You can see where I had to trim, had to trim, finally got it in there. So here, we're up a little bit. We're off just a little bit. So I'm gonna, when I put this, when I panel bond this right here, I'll put that on there. I'll use the vice grips up here on the pinch. I'll use self-tapping screws here to pull this up best I can. And if, it won't be this bad, but if there's anything hanging out, I can cut it off because the the door rubber will will uh, hide this, no problem. I'm going for a structurally sound vehicle here, but not a driver, not definitely not a show truck. Show trucks are for people that's got a lot of money and a lot more patience than what I have. But you can see I got it fitting all oh, pretty good, really. Pinch, the pinch weld up here for the windshield, that's what I was most concerned about. And it's gonna fit really good. I'll still have to do something here to fill in when I get done, but pretty happy with, with my trimming job. This is how we do it here in Liberty, West Virginia. <laughs> Wherever you're from, you can do it however you want. But this is the way I do it. I use the old 3M paint stripping pad on my little Milwaukee M12 grinder. Use what you got, man. That's what it's all about. Use what you got, my gosh, man. Okay, <clears throat> so I've got all my mounting surfaces that are going to have 3M panel bond on them. I've got them scuffed up or clean, scraped bare metal or whatever. Something that'll stick for a while, for a few years. Same thing inside here. So I've got all my vice grips ready here. Uh, got me some. Um, sheet metal screws ready slap the panel bond on just some light beads and i'm going to put the panel in that'll set up about 24 hours and it'll be great of course i've got rubber gloves on because panel bond pretty thin Got 
got a nice bead on everything. So we got the surfaces all clean. We got the uh, panel bond on all of the mounting surfaces. Try to put this thing on here without having some kind of disaster. Y'all should have told me I was putting the bag in the thing on backwards. It's a pain. One man, one man gang, kids. One man gang. Oh, wishing he had a little bit of help, but if he did have help, probably wouldn't be good help. So, right, there you go. Looked like a second pair of ice skates. ACDC there on the radio. Highway to hell, dumbest song ever. Only ACDC song I don't like. Who in the heck would want to be on a highway to hell? I don't know. But nonetheless, I guess it made them a lot of money. So I've got the panel in here. Five scripts on top. Uh, Self-tapping sheet metal screws on the bottom. I've got most or all of my excess panel bond that dripped everywhere cleaned off. Only thing I really am gonna do now, this gap here looks really good up on top, up on the lip. Uh, I'm gonna try to get down under here. I may have to do it later. Any place it doesn't look like it's up tight, I might try to get a little panel bond on my glove. Stick it up under there, just just for good measure. But I think it'll be good to work. Only thing that didn't turn this turned out really good. Only thing that didn't turn out great is, and I knew this would happen, is I've got a little bit sticking down here over the corner of the door, and I'll just have to cut or grind that off and the seal. 
a rubber seal will hide it anyway. So, nonetheless, I, I think it's uh, it's going to be good. Let it sit up 24 hours. And uh, God bless every one of you. And uh, get get to work on your projects. Um, they're not going to get done if you don't work on them.